Hello, I'm Devorah Grazer, founder and CEO of KISS Patent, with 20 years of experience in helping startups stand out from the crowd and raise the money that they need by using patents to increase their startup's valuation. I want to tell you about the cautionary tale of the no patent startup. It had a great first mover advantage in the App Store with products that could do things no other iOS software could do. It had loads of new customers and it was living the good startup life. But it didn't file for any patents and when a better funded rival started to make inroads to its market, this startup had no defense. Pixite began with a great idea in 2009 for the product for viewing photos online in a native iOS app called WebAlbums. It was the first native iOS app that allowed users to browse photos stored online. And unlike Picasa, Google's rival software, users could view an unlimited number of photos. In its first year of existence, WebAlbums made over $100,000 and the Pixite developers quit their day jobs. Pixite was off to the races. Between 2010 and 2012, Pixite built several other photo apps that allowed you to share photos to multiple social networks like Facebook and Flickr. Other apps only enabled users to post photos to storage utilities like Dropbox. And the really cool Pixite apps? They enabled photographers to easily manipulate their photographs on their iPhones and then post these photos wherever they wanted. All of these Pixite apps were super popular and they were the only ones like them in the App Store. The company grew and expanded, hiring more developers, scheduling off-site retreats in cool locations, and generally having a great time. Dark clouds were on the horizon though. Pixite didn't have much funding, only $50,000 from the university fund, and it was largely bootstrapped. So Pixite had focused on maintaining its first mover advantage, trying to move ahead faster and faster, attracting new types of customers. Pixite didn't file for patents, didn't do anything but develop and be innovative, which worked great until it didn't. Competitors noticed the lucrative Pixite market space and started to come into it. Competitors with more funding and much bigger marketing budgets. Competitors who could afford to outspend Pixite at every turn. One startup competitor called Lightrix succeeded by making its own great photo apps. Pixite hadn't filed any patents, so Lightrix was able to create photo apps with similar functions, essentially using Pixite's same secret sauce. But Lightrix had raised millions of dollars in venture funding, so it had much more money for marketing and a much longer runway. Lightrix even spent money to develop an algorithm that told it exactly how much money it had to spend on Facebook to stay on top. Pixite didn't have any of these advantages, no money, no marketing budget, and so in 2015 it found itself almost broke. It laid off developers in wave after wave until it was down to only a few people who were left in a small San Diego office. Pixite is still struggling. It had a small hit with Pigment, an adult coloring book app in which users can color pictures on the iPhone. But by the end of 2015, a rival called Colorfy had already taken over much of Pigment's market. With no patents to protect its proprietary technology, each time Pixite came up with an idea, a better funded rival emerged to steal it and Pixite's market. As of the time of making this video in 2016, Pixite is still alive and trying to figure out its future. Whatever it chooses to do, we wish Pixite and its super creative team of innovators the best of luck. But with patents, Pixite could have had a much different future, one in which it didn't have to struggle quite so much, and one where its rivals couldn't steal its market quite so easily. Want more information on how to avoid becoming like Pixite? At kisspatent.com, we have guides and information to help you launch your patent. Click the link below to download our free guide on how to protect your startup's future with smart idea protection. That's it for now. If you have any questions, please leave your comments below or email us at info at